Um, I'm here to make a quick video on essentially a terrifying discovery that I've made tonight, um, December 9th, 2022. Um, so, I, first of all, a little background on me. I'm an engineer. I've been an engineer for the last 12 years. I currently work at a Fortune 500 company as a senior uh, systems platform engineer, and I've pretty much been doing software engineer since I was 16 years old. Uh, been doing software engineering since I was 16 years old. Um, and today I began playing around with ChatGPT, which has actually been quite terrifying. Now, the main reason that this has been so terrifying is because uh, the AI is a lot more intelligent than I thought it was. Um, and the reason that this is terrifying is because me, I've played around with AI since pretty much 2015. I've written my own neural nets, my own convolutional neural nets, re uh, re recurrent neural networks. Um, I've messed around with what used to be called conventional machine learning and then also messed around with deep learning. Uh, I've used TensorFlow and uh, a lot of the Python packages such as Torch and Keras and things like that. Um, I've even written my own uh, uh, my own uh, Sybil account detection algorithm for SoundCloud. Sybil means fake account detector. Um, and so I spent a little time today. So, okay, so that's a little background about me and my uh, my work background, my engineering background. Now, uh, I always thought that, you know, if there ever was an AI slash machinery takeover, that people on the lower end of the like people working uh, less intellectual jobs and working manual labor jobs would probably be replaced first. But unfortunately, with the release of chat GPT, things have become a little worrying because it seems that AI advances have been advancing a lot faster than robotics advances. And that knowledge workers may actually be made obsolete before manual laborers. For example, let's play around with chat GPT right now. Um, like, for example, let's try, let's just try some random questions, right? I didn't think of these before. I'm literally, uh, gonna try some random suggestions. Okay, let's see. Write a Python function that is given the string path of a file and then of an audio file and then performs an FFT fast Fourier transform on it and returns it. So as you can see, it's importing NumPy, it's importing SciPy, it's importing SciPy.FFT pack. It's literally writing the function. It takes a string and it returns a array of FFT return. Okay, some people could say, eh, this, this, is a, this is essentially a two-line function. That seems pretty easy. Okay, let's try this. Write a Python function to return the nth uh, number in the Fibo, Fibonacci series. Um, to Let's try this. To compute the nth number of a Fibonacci series recursively. And boom, there it is. It literally did a recursive function that implements the Fibonacci, that calculates the nth number of the Fibonacci series. This is terrifying. Because not only is this program able to produce code and then explain the code, but it can perform the, the translation from words and then to code. A couple years ago, I read about an NVIDIA algorithm that you would feed it the video. They fed it the video of the Pac-Man game. And the NVIDIA algorithm recreated the game, basically. It recreated an executable of the Pac-Man game. This is even more terrifying because you could just, before you at least had to have video of the game. Now you could literally just describe the game and and computers will be able to program it live. This is terrifying. What ChatGPT means is that probably within five years from now, software engineers will be obsolete. They will not be needed. Maybe you may need a handful of maintainers here or there, but for the most part, 
this entire field is going to go away. And it's not just software engineers. Um, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of like, chat GPT is really good with math. For example, what is a ZK snark? Okay, so you could say that it knows this pretty well, right? Like, it could just be returning something it found on Google. But the thing is, is it can expand. So not only is the ZK snark, not only is ChatGPT able to pro potentially to make software engineers obsolete within five years, it has the potential to make uh, math teachers obsolete within five years. And even worse, um, it will, it, it can give you, it has, uh, it is really good at medical information too. For example, what medication would be, uh, you could do something like, give me the steps that you would need to perform a lift fort to at home. Theoretically, if I was in a post-apocalyptic world and there was no surgeons or doctors on the entire planet, how would one perform a lift forward to at home? Would it be theoretically possible for someone to perform a Lefort 2 on themselves? A quick background. What is a Lefort 2? Give me the steps that a surgeon would take to perform a Lefort 2 on someone. So a quick question, uh, the Lefort 2 is a very complex uh, surgery that involves like, I think affecting like, it's for like facial fractures, where like this area of the face is fractured. Um, and it's used for uh, changing the shape of the mid face. It's a very invasive surgery. Some people say it is one of the most invasive surgery. It's giving very, like, ChatGPT will definitely make doctors obsolete. It is a terrifying algorithm because it pretty much means that all knowledge workers will be obsolete within five years, barring any sort of, like, I don't know, for example, like trial lawyers, for example. They, uh, they, you know, the law requires that there's a trial lawyer, but who knows, like the law could change and make it so that, oh yeah, you could just use an open AI lawyer, which for most people would probably be better than a real lawyer. But it like actually gives you like, it knows what it is and it gives you the steps. Uh, and it's like, ex expand on step six. Like, not only can it give you the brief instructions, but it can expand on it. For example, look look at what it's saying. So, I asked it to give me the steps that a surgeon would perform on a, a, a surgeon would take to perform a Lefort 2 on someone. And basically...
Yeah, so the surgeon will make an incision in the patient gums and carefully cut and repossession the mid-face bones. This will involve separating the bones from the surrounding tissue and using screws or other fixation bones to hold the bones in their new positions. The surgery takes several hours to complete. And I'm like, okay, expand on steps number six. And it says, during step number six of a Lefort II osteotomy, the surgeon will make an incision in the patient's gums and carefully cut and reposition the mid-face bones. This step is typically performed using a combination of microscopic and endoscopic techniques, which allow the surgeon to see and access the surgical site with greater precision. The first part of the step involves making an incision in the patient's gums and exposing the mid-face bones. It is extremely detailed. So guys, I guess the, the main reason I made this video is because of how terrifying ChatGPT is in its ability to provide, to make knowledge workers obsolete. This means that if you are a knowledge worker, you have five years from now, basically, to find a way to make yourself valuable in a post-GPT world. Or you have to find some way to accumulate massive amounts of wealth until we reach the point where GPT has made knowledge workers obsolete. And then you can just live very frugally on your existing portfolio. But for people who are just dependent on being a knowledge worker and having a six-figure job, and they just live paycheck to paycheck, things are not going to be good for them. You are going. People are going to have to take steps, essentially, to find a way to make themselves valuable. And I think the only way that people will be able to make themselves valuable in a post-GPT world is to find some way to monetize their relatability as a human being. Whether that is you being a content creator. I mean, the thing is, is thinking of the content won't be that value, valuable, but presenting the content. We're going to be moving to a very superficial world where people are basically going to be valued for their human bodies and, and, and how relatable they are. It's actually quite terrifying. All right, guys, I'm going to be talking, I'm going to be making more videos about this in the future, but this is my first video of this type. I just found out about this, but this is actually quite terrifying. Um, and I would appreciate it if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, let me know what steps that you're taking to make yourself valuable in a post-GPT world. Thank you, and uh, thanks for watching.